Every year is a bit different with the travel. In ways it's good, in other ways it's bad, especially coming from Australia. Yeah, we spend probably 150 plus hours on a plane every year for six hours total race time in a year. It makes you want the results and stuff like that and to work hard because you know you're not just going to a race down the road, you're traveling halfway around the world and when you're on the plane you think of that a lot. Is your flight? Oh, long man, so long. It takes forever to get here. I think it's like the furthest you can possibly go from Australia to get here, so anyway. We're here now. I think I'm awake. I think after all the years of traveling that I've sort of got my routine down pretty good. Like you learn what your body adapts to quickly and you know how long it takes to get over the jet lag. Jet lag's doing its thing as usual. I was up at 4 a.m. this morning. So just going for a bit of a spin to wake the body up. So it's raining, which I'm actually happy about. Good to get out in some sort of wet, cold conditions because it could be like that all next week. Getting out there and doing something positive is what has to be done sometimes. Doesn't matter what the weather's doing. Just going out for a spin of pouring rain, it was cold, windy. I'd rather be doing that than sitting on the couch watching TV all day. The first two rounds went crap. There's a lot of positives to take out. I hate that sort of cliche saying, but I was riding well. I felt good on my bike and everything. A couple seconds off getting myself in a podium spot and then two snap chains in the last two stages back in eighth. Pretty disappointing way to start the season after the whole, you know, four month training build up, new team, everything. And then the crash I had in Argentina was a rock that the rider before dragged onto the track. Like I didn't even know this microwave sized rock was in the track. I pretty much got back to the pits and even within five minutes of the crash, everything was starting to seize up. I felt like I'd been hit by a bus. It took me five minutes to get out of my jersey sort of thing and honestly had a bit of a teary there. Again, there was more this feeling came over me of, you miss a round, that's any chance of winning the title down the drain. I'm sitting in 28th overall right now. But yeah, as far as motivation goes, probably no different now to what it would have been had the first two rounds gone to plan. I'm nothing in the gym like now what I used to be, you know. I used to be that meathead guy in the gym that had his angry face on and had, you know, don't talk to me sort of thing. <laughs> I've definitely lost a bit of max strength from those days with also losing 17 kilos. I can still jump in the squat rack and squat, you know, 180 kilos without even being in the gym for six months. All the years of doing it in the past is still a benefit for me now, so it's, it's worked out well like that. We landed on Friday. The plan was to go to Bike Park Island Saturday, Sunday. We were hoping for wet weather, which is exactly what we got, so that was perfect. Just coming from home, just trying to get your head around just mud and that again. I feel like it takes me a little bit to adapt to mud and stuff. You know, give me a couple of days and I feel comfortable and confident on it. We had a great weekend, um, got out of it exactly what we wanted and happy days, trip been perfect. Buddy being team manager, he's uh, one of a kind really. He'd always told us about his house. It's just cool going there and seeing like a homely environment, you know, like it just makes you feel more at home. Just cool to get in that environment straight away. We're here at the third round of the year at the Enduro World Series and it's great it's here at home in, in Ireland in Wicklow. Jared and Curtis, they came a little bit early and Hannah came in just this week. There's been a long build up but now the race weekend's here, everyone's happy and ready to go racing. I think the key to this race is just racing well. Every stage is all about carrying your momentum through every section into the next. Riding smooth but aggressive and just putting it together on the day, that's the key. Well, I've got some cut through my tyre and then I've done some pretty irreparable damage to the rim just riding it through boulder fields with no air in the back tyre. I don't know what to think right now, just racing man. The ups and downs are racing. He thought the flat was okay, it hold up and he went on a little bit more and hit another rock and that's what finished the rim. So he has to take a time penalty now for us replacing the rim, but let's see how it works out. Maybe he'll smash the last three stages and go out with a little bit of a high.
was a lot of fun. I mean, the crowd's insane. Weather came out for us. Good experience. I'll, you know, the race might not have gone to plan, but as long as you've given your all, you know, train hard, do everything you can, but if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll leave here with uh, good memories of my first trip to Ireland.